In our nation's short history, we have got the label of doing things first. First people to send a man to the moon. First people to build the modern day light bulb. First people to construct the first car. And also we are the first people to pour freezing buckets of ice on our head and call it fun. So to the question, should teacher salaries be tied to student performances? It is a clear and definitive no. Is it the students to blame? The teachers, the education system, or other factors? And here are my two reasons. First, because teachers are not the only influence. And second, because no one will want to teach, teach kids that are underperforming in classrooms. So are teachers the ones to blame? The answer is quite simple, no. As a poll from whatstheanswer.com states, 63% of student performances in school are a reaction of what happens at home. For example, if a student is underperforming in a classroom, it may result from struggling with the divorce of her parents, or struggling from moving to a new school, or simply struggling from a loss that happened in the family. Teachers are not the blame for everything that has to do with student achievement. Teachers try their best every day to increase student grades, but some students just cannot perform to the task because of outside occurrences. For every one teacher that teaches in a classroom, there might be 20 other people outside of the classroom affecting the students' grades. It isn't fair to put all the weight on the teacher's shoulders. It has to go both ways. It is a lose and lose situation for it's not fair to the teacher as well as the student. And now my second point. No one will want to teach challenged kids. If a teacher's salary is based solely on student performance, why would a teacher have any motivation to teach the students who are lagging behind in her class? According to a study done by the Huffington Post, three out of every eight students underperform in a classroom. This accounts for a lot of America's student body population. With South Korea with a cognitive skill and ability assessment of 1.3 and the United States with a staggering 0.39, we have to ask ourselves, is this system really worth it? Making underperforming students worse and smart students even smarter. Our main goal is to increase this number and not use this biased system. This system splits the student body population by making dumber students dumber and smarter students, smarter students smarter. So to the question, should teacher salaries be tied to student performances? It is a clear no for two reasons. First, because teachers are not the only influence. And second, because no one wants to teach challenged kids not moving our country. So isn't it time to change your, change your educational system and make sure that every student gets the right to a clean and fair education model? Because there's one more thing we're good at, America. And that one thing is education. Thank you.